Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So if you don't already know, I have dry, sensitive, acne-prone skin. I have struggled with hormonal acne for about seven years now. And, uh, you know, even though my acne is mostly hormonal, I still experience the usual breakouts that come from clogged pores. Sometimes, you know, when you feel like your pores are filled, you see some blackheads or sebaceous filaments, it can be very, very tempting to just want to squeeze all of that out. But I'm telling you right now, that is probably the worst way to try to get rid of these issues and using skincare or different methods can be a lot more effective it can lead to longer lasting results and also avoid damaging the skin more by scarring it now having this sort of routine can um, be a great way in order to prevent acne and in this video today any picking squeezing or using your fingers or other tools to extract out of your skin will be absolutely pro Pivoted. <laughs> so overall, what clogs a pore? You know, um, between the dead skin cells on your face, makeup, sunscreen, oil, all of that can cause pores to um, clog. And how blackheads form is the top of that, um, you know, gunk oxidizing, and that's why they appear black in color. So with all of that, today I'm going to really teach you guys how to effectively take care of your pores without all the added irritation and doing this effectively but mildly at the same time. So if you want to see all that just keep on watching oh you tell me stories you tuck me in and the second you leave i call you right back to check for monsters in my streets so I will be talking about some certain products while discussing these topics today and they are from the same brand that I discussed in my how to get rid of acne scars video. So today I will be reviewing three more products from the brand that I have found really have helped with my pore care routine. And with that, this video is sponsored by Numbazen. So thank you so much to Numbazen for helping me bring this content to my channel and giving me the opportunity to share a bunch of great skincare products with my audience. So let's get started. The first product I'm gonna be talking about today is the number one toner. Now I kind of talked about this in my first video. Um, a lot of their products are numbered to make it easier for consumers to shop for their specific skin concerns and that's something I really appreciate. Now this one right here is the Good by Dead Cell Toner. So first off you may have you know heard in the skincare world terms such as AHAs, BHAs, maybe even PHAs or LHAs and these are all chemical exfoliators. Now between physical and chemical exfoliators I way prefer chemical. Um, I think they are a lot lot better for my acne prone skin than rubbing something physical on my face. So a really important step when it comes to pore care is cleaning out those pores and like I said an exfoliator can really help with that. But if you're someone like me that struggles with more sensitive skin, now I have built up my skin tolerance to be able to tolerate those AHAs and BHAs. I personally really enjoy the Polish Choice BHA 2% liquid exfoliant. It's honestly one of my favorite products and I have done a full review video on that one on my channel but I have gotten a lot of comments saying it's too strong for my skin or you know it stings my skin or it irritates me or I feel like I'm over exfoliating. And although AHAs and BHAs are two ingredients that I love, I see how they're not for everyone and as someone who reviews a bunch of skincare for everyone, I think it's appropriate for me to talk about some different ingredients that might work for you if your skin cannot handle those strong acids. So something much less stimulating but still effective would be an ingredient like PHAs or LHAs. So P PHAs are polyhydroxy acids and LHAs are lipohydroxy acids. This product right here does contain both of those two exfoliating ingredients. Due to that, this product is really mild on the skin. It still does a good job exfoliating and it can actually um, bring some hydration to the skin since these ingredients can act as humectants as well. I really do enjoy that those two ingredients are in here um, together in this toner. In addition to that, it also includes aloe leaf extract, which I personally really like for sensitive skin. It can help with inflammation and redness as well as calming irritated skin which can often come with having acne and sensitive skin. Since this does have humectant properties it can actually help bring hydration back into the skin while you're also exfoliating. Now of course you want to lock that in with a moisturizer at the end but having those you know two in one um, in a toner can be really nice. So I personally like to use this toner two to three times a week and you can use it with a cotton pad. I personally like to just apply toner straight into my hand like this and after cleansing my face I will just pat this right into the skin 
and sometimes toners or exfoliating products can irritate my skin this one right here is super gentle as i already mentioned so um you don't have to worry about that and then i will go in with my serums after my toners and exfoliating products it never feels dry after using this it just feels very glowy and not stripped or over exfoliated at all i feel like this toner really helps keep my skin smooth throughout the week especially since i do have dry skin too sometimes my skin can get a little flaky but using something like this really just brings the glow back to my skin making sure i'm exfoliating enough but not overdoing it on my dry sensitive skin which is something i really appreciate and a little bit really goes a long way with this one I just do a few drops in my hand, use it a couple times a week, and I feel like my skin looks super glowy after. So now that we've talked about exfoliating the skin to kind of help out your pores, let's move on to the next step slash the next product. This is definitely a very interesting product and very different from any toner I have ever tried in the past due to that more viscous feel. And for my dry sensitive skin, having that kind of toner and serum in one um, formula is really, really nice because I can get those toner properties that I like, but also those serum benefits in one application. So with this toner, I'm gonna explain the second step to uh, treating and maintaining your pores. And the second step is to increase skin elasticity around your pores without popping or squeezing them. Cause again, remember that step is prohibited in this video. Because as we mentioned, squeezing or picking at your skin without any care can really lead to infection, scarring, and just making the whole situation a lot worse. I have made these mistakes before. I have actually gotten extreme scarring from doing this, so I really don't recommend it. I have actually done this on my cheek area right here a couple years ago, and I still have the scar from it. So take it from me. Please do not be popping your pimples. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about opening and closing pores, and I'm going to put an end to that. Pores do not have muscles. They cannot physically open or close due to heat um, or cold but there are ways to relax the skin um, and improve the elasticity but there are no muscles in your pores so instead we can improve that elasticity and we can instead make them look smaller with the overall reducing the appearance of pores not actually reducing the physical size and some ingredients that can really help with that are fermented ingredients this number three glowing essence contains about 50 naturally derived fermented ingredients including bifida which is a representative ferment ingredient and also niacinamide niacinamide is a fantastic ingredient for reducing oil production stunting pigmentation and overall helping with the appearance of pores now by using a product like this you know over a long period of time you may see that um, reduction in the appearance of your pores and just overall a more glowing look to the skin without the added irritation of squeezing or using harsh ingredients i personally have been experimenting a lot more with fermented ingredients like when using those serums back there and i think my skin definitely really enjoys them um, i found my skin was really glowy while using them and it just felt very supple and with those serums, they can be compared to way more expensive items like the Estee Lauder Night Serum that everyone raves about, um, and those are a fraction of the price. So if you are looking for more of a serum type product that contains fermented ingredients, I'd recommend the number three serum, which I have back there on my desk. But if you're looking for more of a toner product, I would recommend the number three toner. So even though this is a toner, it does have a more viscous consistency. As you can see, it's not as liquidy as the other one. So so it is kind of that two in one in my opinion and this one i do also press into the skin no cotton pad and this one i can use more often honestly it's really really nice i can even use this one in the morning i find and even layering these toners my skin doesn't have any weird reaction to it and it just leaves my skin feeling really glowy and hydrated and now we have made it to probably the most important step of them all. And that's why I've left this one for last. Last product is the number one cleansing oil. This is what this looks like right here. I personally really enjoy cleansing balms or cleansing oils to be the first step of my skincare routine, especially at night to make sure I'm removing um, my makeup, sunscreen, and any oil and dirt off the skin really, really well. Now this kind of comes into a double cleansing method. I think this is so important, especially for a pore care to make sure you're really 
really cleansing your skin thoroughly, but not over cleansing it. That's something we want to remember. What you can do instead is use a oil cleanser or a cleansing balm to first remove the oil products off your skin. If you think about it, makeup, oil, all of that are oil-based products and water and oil don't mix. So you need to use an oil to remove those oils. In particular, I do really enjoy this cleansing um, oil though. I've used it tons on my TikTok as well. I like it because you literally need like one pump of the product for your whole face. And I can even use it to remove my eye makeup, which that is something I struggle with since a lot of makeup removers tend to irritate my eye area. This one does not. And it even removes mascara, eyeliner, liquid lipstick, anything, you name it, and this will remove off your face. So by cleansing your skin right, your pores will really thank you because you will really be getting all that gunk out. And that is really the most important step in this routine, at least in my opinion. This one right here is not heavy. It's not too greasy on the skin. I don't feel like it leaves a weird film. Um, and it's really easy to get off afterwards too with my water-based cleanser. And using an oil like this, like I said, is really effective at actually cleansing the skin since it will kind of melt that sebum, makeup, and everything like that off the skin. And especially when you emulsify this too by adding some water it will really do a good job at really breaking down all the oils whether it's makeup dead skin cells or actually sebum um, broken down and off your skin in addition the brand actually conducted a cleansing clinical trial by official research institutes and they actually found out that waste in the pores was cleaned 94.39 percent and fine dust was cleaned at 98.44 percent so overall it does show the cleansing power of this product and how it can really help at maintaining and making sure that your pores stay clean. And due to that oil factor, the emulsification, it's not gonna be too irritating, but it's still gonna do a very effective job at cleansing the skin. Now, when you are emulsifying it, it will turn to kind of a white consistency, like a milky consistency. And I usually just massage this on my skin for about, you know, a minute or two, just to really get everything broken down. As I said, because it does such a good job cleansing, this can overall really help with blackheads and whiteheads and making sure that your pores are not clogged. As I said, the melting ability of this is my favorite part. It just melts everything on your skin and within your pores. And part of that double cleansing routine, once you're finished with this one, I do recommend going in with a water-based cleanser as your second step. And then after that, you can go in with your toners, then your serums, moisturized sunscreens, and the whole routine. All right, guys, so those are the three products I want to talk about today um, in part of how to cleanse your skin properly and how to properly maintain your pores without squeezing or irritating your skin. Now, recently, Numbazin has actually renewed its website, allowing consumers to see detailed and informative descriptions on every product they have, as well as they do now offer one-on-one -on -one counseling to discuss your skin issues and what you are trying to target in regards to your skin concerns. Personally, I have really enjoyed working with them, trying their products, and they definitely seem like a brand to me that puts their consumers first. I hope you guys enjoyed this review video slash skincare 101 video on how to properly cleanse and take care of your pores to make sure that you can avoid squeezing or picking at them. Now, with the picking, I would definitely recommend not having a close-up mirror that can be really really tempting and just trying to remember that the consequences of picking at your skin are much worse than the results you're trying to get out of it definitely stick to some of these cleansing and exploiting tips rather than picking i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video if you want to see more of my content though i will have all my skincare trials listed down below in the description and i I am also now a host on the Acne channel. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel for weekly videos from me. And you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more daily content at Lavinia Rosanda. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters.